guys and welcome to another video. So I have some books that I want to share with you guys. So this is like another mini haul. Um, I decided to do it now because I'm running out of space and I really need to organize my stuff. And in order to do that, I need to do the video so that I can put them away. So I'm going to do that now. Probably have another haul at the end of the month, but it probably won't be as big as this one. Um, so let's get started. I hope you guys enjoy this. Um, we'll start with the graphic novels. I did get three. Um, the first one is Star Wars the prequel trilogy. Now I didn't like these movies at all but I am a huge fan of the original three um, trilogy. So um, I think maybe in like graphic novel form I might enjoy it more than movie form. So I'm hoping this is better. <laughs> so there's that one and the next ones I'm really excited about. They are based on the original ones. So it has the original characters. I don't know if this takes place after the trilogy or during the trilogy or what it's about. But I'm really, really excited because I love anything to do with Star Wars. And it's a co collaboration with um, Marvel, which is really exciting. And the art on, the, on this um, comic is just amazing. On this graphic novel, sorry. It's really amazing. And this is like a bind up of volumes 1 through 12. So I assume they did like individual comics and then they just put it into a graphic novel, which I'm really excited about. And I love the art. I just love it so much. They did such a good job. And then I had to get the second volume because I noticed they had one. And so this is a second volume and it's still in plastic. I don't feel like taking it out. But I mean, the artwork is really amazing. Um, on these so I'm really excited to get to those and I love reading graphic novels um, it's been a big thing for me lately because um, sometimes reading too much too many books uh, gets a little stressful because I don't have enough time and I feel like I never finish them so with graphic novels you get through them a lot faster and you still feel like you accomplished something and they're very enjoyable so the next book that I bought I bought off of the seller on Mercari and that is um, The Way You Make Me Feel. I'm not a contemporary reader. Obviously, I don't really like contemporaries. But I'm hoping to find that just right one that's going to like get me into it. And I just haven't found that yet. I did read a few that I've liked but not loved. And I just want one that I'm going to love. So I'm going to give this a try. It actually came with a signed book plate and a cute little pin. So the pin is really cute. It's like a little enamel pin, which I'll probably keep anyways. But I'm hoping I like this book enough that I'll keep it um, and it'll open me up to enjoying um, contemporaries a little bit more. Um, now on to my um, used bookstore um, uh, picks. Uh, okay, so the I'm going to start with these. So the first one that I got off the used bookstore, because I had like over 50 books I on haul. I only ended up um, purchasing three with the credit I had. So the first one was this one. It's called The Runaway Robot. It was on the counter. I like sci-fi. This looked really cool. It's a very short book. So I was really excited to pick this up and it just looked really cool. I just went off of cover buys here. I didn't read the synopsis. I don't want to know too much going into the stories. So I just want to be surprised. The next one was also on the counter and it's called Incarceran. In Carceron? I don't know. It says the, this prison is alive. So it just sounded very mysterious and I'm really excited about it. And next one is like a, um, I don't know, mystery murder kind of thing, I'm thinking. Because it looks like a detective. So this one is The Silkworm by Robert Galbraith. Oh, you know what? This is J.K. Rowling. I didn't even, it didn't click when I bought it. Um... Because she did the Cuckoo's Calling, right? I've seen a lot of people talk about um, that being her pseudonym. I didn't I didn't even think about that when I got it. This is uh, like a mystery one, I think. I think. I'm going by the cover. I felt like getting something mystery related. And that looks like a murder detective kind of thing. Um, the next ones are from the library. I ended up going there because I needed the... Free, well, I didn't need it, but I got some free tax help, which is really awesome. And of course, it was like a four hour wait. But it gave me plenty of time to read a graphic novel while, while I was there, as well as go through their um, book sales. And you know, book sales at the library are amazing. They're like 25 cents or 50 cents. And maximum every now and then you'll find one that's like a dollar. But um, they're really, really good. So 
I found this one which goes with another book I have. It's called United We Stand We Spy and it's um I don't know anything about this except that I have the first one of the series and when I got it I didn't know it was a series um and funny enough I just stacked it with my standalones and then I've been watching cuz I always watch um booktube videos and I've seen a lot of people talk about them and how great they are and how fun they are and I didn't even know they were a series until I started watching videos and then I found this one at the um at the library so I'm happy to have another one in the series and then I bought this one okay the rest of these are literally bought based off the covers so I know nothing about them except what I think they're about so this says Island of Thieves and I'm super excited it gives me from the animation on the cover which I love gives me very um, Carmen San Diego animated vibes but like with the Tomb Raider Indiana Jones kind of thing um just a second Sorry about that. So I have to go quickly because I have to leave in a little bit. But um, the next one gives me dystopian vibes called The Limit. I got another one that gives me dystopian vibes. That's called The Hunt. Um, and this one just reminded me of anime. And it looked really interesting. It's called The Floating Island. So we'll see how that is. Um, the next two, I actually have one of these books. This one I have. It's called The Name of the Star. Um, I have this in paperback. I haven't read it yet, but they had it in hardcover, so I figured I'd get it just in case I end up really liking it. I'll keep this one. And then they had another one by her called, by the same author called The Madness Underneath. So I'm guessing these are kind of like around the same kind of like style. Um, and that's it for this haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I will probably have another one at the end of the month. And yeah, so stay tuned for that and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!